Hello Capricorn. I hope this finds you all well. So welcome, welcome back. My name is Christiana. I will be performing this reading for you today regarding the energies that will be affecting you during the time frame of February 15th through the 28th, 2021. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorn. All right. So we have the Dancer of Friendship popping out. Let us know that the cards are ready. Okay. Let's see what we get here. All right. Hunter of Strength. So this is what's going on in at the heart of the reading in your world right now or during this two week period <clears throat> what you're consciously moving towards hmm. hunter of mysteries all right and this uh will be what is going on in your subconscious ah the companion so this is being very connected with spirit we have Spirit of Initiation at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. The Spirit of Truth underneath that. I was curious since there were two spirits there in a row. Okay. Let's get some tarot to go along with this. So, yeah, that makes sense. Um... Yeah, we are kind of being, uh, I really get this uh, message that we've been going through kind of an initiation into this age of Aquarius, right? All of this, this pressure, all these planets in Aquarius. And you're being initiated into something as well, right? This hunter of mysteries and the companion is there leading you through all of it. There in the subconscious. It's just beautiful. All right, let's see. You ready? Yes, okay. We got the wheel. Wheel of Fortune popping out. Okay. What we got here? Ah, oh, beautiful. The Wanderer. This is the Fool in a traditional deck. This is going along with the Hunter of Strength. The Three of Bows. This would be the Three of Wands in a traditional deck. Fulfillment. That's going along with Hunter of Mysteries. And then below we have Nine of Arrows. Dedication. This would be Nine of Swords in a traditional deck. And I love this particular uh, version of it. Okay, we look good here. Okay. In the air element, we have Knight of Arrows. This would be Knight of Swords. This is what's going on, like your thought process. Uh, what you're communicating, etc. Fire element. We have six of stones. And this is what's going on. This is like your where you're taking action, your connection with spirit, uh, or your creative process. Earth element. Four of bows. This would be four of wands in a traditional deck, uh, and this would be six of pinnacles. So this is what's going on in your day-to-day -day material world. The water element. Mm, we have the great bear. This would be judgment in a traditional deck. This is what's going on in your emotions, your relationships. All right, the past. Ten of vessels. This would be ten of cups. And then the future, we have Knight of Bows, Knight of Wands. Okay, and we have Ace of Vessels at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Okay. 
Let's get a card to represent the overall energy of this time period. Overall energy, please, spirit. Time period of February 15th through the 28th for Capricorn. General, oh, that was quick. All right, we have Lily, majesty and virtue. The Lily is the emblem rare of many virtues, good and rare. Okay. We have flocks at the bottom of the deck. Unanimity and harmony. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Okay. We're getting a fairy to represent your energy. Fairy to represent Capricorn energy, please. Spirit during the time frame of February 15th. Ooh, that was quick. Oh, beautiful. Spirit dancer. Aw, I love that one. <laughs> we have feline at the bottom of the deck, which is about uh, doing unfinished business, right? Okay. All right, so this is really lovely. What I'm I'm seeing, like a, yes, a certain amount of relying on spirit, dancing with spirit, right? And this is also very much um, creative energy. So there might be um, some of that. I, I, it's not really standing out to me other than the fact that um, the Spirit Dancer card talks about that. But I feel like more than anything, this is about you really come to know your worth and really relying on your own spirit and spirit, right? Um, to, guide, to, to guide you through this time. I think that you're kind of venturing into a place of unknown, right? This hunter of strength into the hunter of mysteries, this wanderer. And this did come out in reverse, which makes me feel like it's a time of you really finding your strength, finding your you know, because it is a virtue, right? Finding your virtues, finding what makes you strong, what makes you rare, right? This is this um, Aquarian energy too, right? What makes you unique? Finding, you know, that divinity within you. You know, this past here, this Ten of Vessels, it's happiness. In this deck but I get more that you know it was like and maybe you were happy at one point in time but I think it kind of um, you know the ten of vessels ten of cups it can be about too much uh, of something right too much uh, I don't want to say you have a good thing but things at home yeah, these these overflowing emotions weren't necessarily good anymore, right? It's like getting flooded, <laughs> not in a good way, right? Overflowing emotions that became destructive is what I'm feeling. Because I feel like we did, you know, this was the closing of a chapter. We've We've seen that. And now, in your present, you are the fool, right? And this is really pulling on some strength, some of that inner strength to do this, right? To go into the unknown. I'm trusting spirit, right? This wanderer is getting ready to cross this uh, crevice, go out on this path, with just a rainbow, right? Not knowing for sure 
if that is really going to carry him over. And this is what you're, you know, consciously doing. And I love this. I mean, with this three of bows, you know, a three of wands wouldn't normally have a uh, bow. And then we have it here too, right? Um, it's funny. And, and she has one here as well, right? We've got a lot of them. So I feel feel like... Yeah, this time frame, this is kind of like that act of waiting here. And I feel like, you know, you're looking at your options and you're like, you know, I've already been down here. Uh, the the village is burnt. <laughs> and this might be a little, you know, um, scary, right? There might be a little bit of fear here with this strength card, this nine of arrows, but I think I'm going to go, you know, this guy is, is the, you know, you have your guide here, right? He's stepping forward to meet you. This is, um, and it might be that there's somebody showing up to kind of, um, help you through this, right? That you might, uh have a friend or there might be, um, you know, a therapist, you know, whatever it is that, uh, you know, I do feel like, you know, or this could just be spirit. Any of them will work. But, you know, this person is really helping, you know, whether this is just spirit or somebody else. Um, or this could even be the other person, right? And there's a little bit of trepidation there but you've really learned how to work with your fears right she's learned how to take one of these arrows and play this this bow right this secret weapon and kind of um fend off the darkness and you're doing this on a subconscious level i love it you've been, you know, you've been working on this. You've worked with your fears, facing your fears enough. that, And this person is helping you with that too, right? They're helping you figure out um, ways of working with those. And it's working on a subconscious level. That's why I kind of, you know, wonder if there's um, perhaps some kind of uh, professional that's in the mix. Otherwise, this is just spirit, you know, and your work really, you know, on a conscious level, really helping you with that. Yeah. This four of bows and the earth element. I kind of feel like, you know, I get this sense of ritual. I feel this sense of finding stability. Yeah, this could be creative work as well. You know, something that kind of, you know, whether this is, you know, daily rituals as far as creation, um, you know, whatever, or um, work, whatever it is that really, you know, raises your spirits, right? Because they're, they're really... Um, this is kind of manifestation type of energy for me. But it really, you know, it's giving you stability, whatever it is. It's like daily ritual that really um, gives you stability, raises your spirits. Um, I really like it. And this Knight of Arrows, right? This truth seeker. Once again, I see you here with this Hunter of Mysteries, right? It's like you're exploring, you're, you're watching, you know, this, this hawk is being patient, right? This, this idea of patience, actively waiting, looking for the sign. I keep on getting that, that there's like, we're really um, tuned in to the frequency of spirit here, which is one of the reasons that you might be 
really, um, it might be a source of strength for you here. And speaking truth, right? You're speaking truth to others. I think that you're being, you know, there's this um, sense of listening, if the sense of watching with it as well, right? You're really picking up on the subtle cues, right? You're hearing past the words, past the, um, even body language, like past that even. You're really picking up on like little subtle clues. And this is helping you in this, um, make decisions, right? This is, um, judgment. This is an awakening here as well, right? This is, um, healing. I really get a sense of healing here. And this six of stones says exploitation here. And it might be, you know, this gives me this sense of relationships as well. And that you're not willing to um, just give and give anymore, right? This is this awakening, this awakening to your worth. You know, I'm not going to just take crumbs anymore, right? I have all the skills I need. I know my worth. I have spirit, right, <laughs> ready to uh, go to bat for me, and I'm not taking it anymore. And I do get this sense of wanting to be of service, right? There's this awakening. Yeah, and I think that this is more of um, a planning kind of energy at this point in time. All right, I'm not sure that you've merged from the cave yet here. I think you're being called to. I think that, um, you know, this, there's this exchange of energy with Earth is what I'm really getting here. All right, like um, our feet touch the, the Earth and we pull energy, pull strength from the Earth. And then it's through our hands, right, that we give that back. It's um, creative, creatively possibly, um, you know, some kind of work with our hands is how we give back. And I think you're thinking about that, right? What your your calling is, how you can be a service. So there, are, there's a lot going on here. Um, and I do think that there is, um, some kind of gift this week. This, uh, is the week of the full moon in Virgo. It's not the best one for manifestation unless, um, you know, it's a, it's a great week for doing creative work, um, and I think that it is, it, would, it ends with a grand earth trine. So there very well could be like some kind of former manifestation that comes in. But yeah, I feel like, you know, you are, you know, I'm really getting this self-worth, this being set out on a path, right? With this knight of bows in the future. Right, this is my light worker. And he's fun. I really, you know, I get um, a really fun sensibility from this fox, right? He's been uh, used to hiding. Foxes have been hunted. Right, we've been, in a, you know, I get this scent. That's one of the things that we've been struggling through here. You know, one of the reasons we, we've had to kind of struggle to find our virtue, our majesty, and realize just how special we are. 
You know, and this is the sense that we don't have to hide anymore, right? We've got all the skills that we need. You know, the fox is, is very stealthy. He's very cunning. Very intelligent. <clears throat> so if it, like, you've got everything, right? It's kind of, um, and a sense of humor, too. Fun. You know, these are all these, these strengths, right? And look at those, those strengths that you have. And I think that you'll find you have more than you even realize. And maybe even some of them that you didn't think were all that important are very important, right? Like humor, you know, that does a world of good for, you know, building our um, momentum and, and changing energy, shifting energy, right? Hmm. Interesting. And yes, there are, you know, there's, there's this sense that there are some things that need to be taken care of, right? Some fears possibly that need to be faced. But there's healing that's coming in, and you've got lots of help. Lots of help. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's get a piece of art. Piece of art for Capricorn, please. Let's get her in here. Go back one. I don't know why I want it that so specifically to the right. Huh. The Stone of Spiritual Understanding. Yeah. That is so interesting, right? And I feel like this is um, that strength. Right? And it's like, it's like this, um, it's this big stone, but it's being like, look at that, that it's there's this buoyancy right it's being um held up in the air interesting so yeah and this is you know you're looking for this it's like that's what you're looking for right this fulfillment this going into the mystery and you are coming to some kind of spiritual understanding yes this awakening here beautiful and across the way we have this table, right? And it's like, there's um, different settings on the table, right? So it's like, things are not going to seem so um, simple, right? Things aren't gonna quite look like you think they should look. It's gonna be confusing. And then we come into this, right? All right, closing guidance. I'm full to the mythology deck here. Closing guidance for Capricorn, please. Closing guidance for Capricorn. Two cards, please. Hmm. Closing guidance for Capricorn. One more card, please, for Capricorn. Huh. Interesting. That was like the first and last card. <laughs> we have New Moon and Gemini at the bottom of the deck. Communication is key. So interesting. We have Void of Course Moon. Nothing will come of this situation, and your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. And you know, it's like, I'm really getting pulled to this, whatever this fear is, right? Because I think there is, yeah, this purple that's in this companion card. I just really get this sense that you're worried about something and spirit is here saying, it's all good, right? And I feel like there's also this sense of, you know, this, um, the act of waiting, right? It's like, we're still in this, um, 
void right there's still everything is still being formed so it's like you can't make any mistakes right now right and it's like it's like just create right of your own accord you know be this hunter of mysteries watch you know you're doing the right thing here watching for the signs watching for the cues and yeah just kind of um setting out on your path you know being okay with this void right the zero is the void here that's interesting okay and your commitment is being tested this is part of the initiation, <laughs> right? This, um, so know that, right? There's this, that, that's so cool. You're going into this, um, void energy. Your commitment is being tested and don't worry, right? Just, um, just go with it. I love that. <laughs> yeah, there are these tests with initiations. Yeah, that might be part of this unfinished business. And then we have um, Phlox here. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. So this is about you finding that majesty and virtue with yourself, being in harmony with yourself, right? Um, I'm really getting that, that, um, finding that love within yourself, this, um, I'm even getting like this kind of, um, with this Gemini here, this communication with yourself, right? With spirit, finding this unity within so I really, really get it. Wow, that that breaks down to an eleven right there too. So we've got twins. We've got an eleven. We've got one here. <laughs> so all ones here at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, like. Of course, this communication is is key. We have, um, like I said, I feel like you're really like seeing beyond, and I think that that's important, definitely. But I'm really getting like this very inward kind of energy here. All right, yeah. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said. All right. I hope that this was helpful. I hope it resonated. And until next time, Capricorn, much love.